When adding numbers with multiple digits, it's important to first know place value. Let's quickly review place value before we dive into more difficult concepts. The number 4256 has four digits. The digit six is in the ones column, it is worth six. The five is in the tens column, it is worth five tens or 50. The two is in the hundreds column, it is worth two hundreds or two hundred. The digit four is in the thousands column. It is worth four thousands or four thousand. Four thousand plus two hundred plus fifty plus six equals four thousand two hundred fifty six. Now let's refresh our multiple digit addition skills. Our first problem is fifty six plus forty seven. Let's use base 10 blocks to model this addition sentence. In the row, you can see five tens and six ones, or 56. The bottom row has four tens and seven ones, or 47. When we add multiple digits, we start by adding the ones column first. Six ones plus seven ones equals 13 ones. Since 13 is more than nine, we can trade in or regroup 10 ones for a new 10. We have three remaining ones and throw our new 10 on top to be with his 10 friends. We drop the three down to the solution row because we have finished adding the ones column and there is no more regrouping to be done. Now we're ready to move on to the tens column. Let's add the tens together. There are 10 tens. Whenever we make 10 more, we have to trade up and regroup. 10 tens equal 100. There are no remaining tens since we had only 10 of them. We can drop the 100 down to the solution row because there are no more numbers to add. Our answer is 100, no tens, and three ones. Base 10 blocks make it easy for us to visualize the problem and solution, but we can't drag them everywhere with us. Let's refresh our skills and add these two numbers using pencil and paper. Same process, it just looks a bit different. First, we'll start with the ones column. Six plus seven equals 13. 13 is more than nine, since 13 has one 10 and three ones. We'll carry the one 10 to the tens column and leave the three remaining ones. Now we'll add the tens. One plus five plus four equals 10. 10 tens is 100. We will carry the one into the hundreds column and leave the zero. Since there are no hundreds to add to the one, it will drop right down to the solution. Both of our solutions match. Now we're ready to try a few more problems. As each new problem is presented, pause the video to copy the problem down for yourself. Then try to solve on your own. Press play when you have found the solution to the problem and check your work as we work through the problem together. Let's try this one, 52 plus 21. Starting with ones, two plus one equals three. No need to regroup. Onto the tens, five plus two equals seven. Well done. Let's try another, 57 plus 33. Seven plus three equals 10. 10 ones equals one 10. We carry the 10 and place it on top of the tens column. There are no ones remaining. One plus five equals six, plus three more equals nine. Our sum is 90. On to three digit addition. Five plus five equals 10. One plus seven plus two equals 10. One plus nine plus three equals 13. Our sum is 1,300. Ready for our last challenge? On to four digit addition. 5 plus 6 equals 11. 1 plus 0 plus 5 equals 6. 
8 plus 3 equals 11. 1 plus 2 equals 3. Our answer, 3,161. Keep practicing so you can impress your third grade teacher. I hope you have some fun.